Welcome back to the N, L, Dreifecta. Last time, we had a swimming race across the pool, and it was Carla who won the race. Which meant that the Express Ninjas had won the challenge, for a second week in a row. Shortly after, OAB would cross the finish line in second place. Congratulating Carla on her win, OAB's second place finish meant his team, the Red Royals, were safe from elimination. However, Kipper came in last, meaning his venomous blazers are facing elimination today. Now let's go to the elimination center. Welcome back blazers to the elimination center. Now I have four golden rings. And if you don't get a ring, you are eliminated. The venomous blazer winning the immunity is. Cat. He will have the immunity the next time his team is up for elimination. Now for the elimination results. Cat won the immunity. So he is safe. Bear, you had the immunity from last time, you are safe as well. Marka is safe at 3 votes. Sky is safe at 4 votes. And Kipper the dog, is eliminated, at 7 votes. That's a shame. I made it to the final 3 vote on season 2, and now I'm eliminated before the final 12, the first half of the game, in season 3. It really is a shame. Tiger, I'm counting on you to win this game. Win it for the both of us. That now leaves us with 12 characters still having a chance to win season 3. Which means, half of the contestants we have started with, have been eliminated. Now let's talk about today's challenge. The twelfth challenge of the season is a game of fast money, like in the ever popular game show, Family Feud. I need one contestant from each team to play. I will. I will. And I will. Sounds good. Playing for the Red Royals. Gwen. Playing for the Venomous Blazers. Cat. And, playing for the Express Ninjas. Sonic. Alright, Gwen, you are going first. I am going to read you five questions. Try to guess the most popular answer for each one. You have 25 seconds to try to answer all five. The clock will start when I finish reading the first question. The first question is, name an animal a squirrel might get in a fight with if it tried to take his acorns. A bird. Something you would buy after getting engaged. A dress. A country with a large population. India. An occupation that begins with the letter J. Jockey. Name Marvel's Avengers. Captain America. Turn around. Let's see how well you did. The first question was, name an animal a squirrel might get in a fight with if it tried to take his acorns. You said. A bird? Survey said. Whoa, that's a lot of points. Something you would buy after getting engaged, you said. Address, survey said. Oh wow, another big one. So far so good for you. I then asked you for a country with a large population, you said. India, survey said. 28. Another good answer. Name an occupation that begins with the letter J, you said. Jockey. Four survey Still. said. You have a lot of points with one answer left to go. Finally, I asked you to name Marvel's Avengers. You said, Captain America, Ooh, another good one. said, add all of it together, and you have, a total of, 128 points. You had given the Red Royals a big lead. But, Captain Sonic have still have yet to take a turn. Can either of them score more than 128? Let's find out. Cat, it is now your turn. I am going to ask you the same questions I asked Gwen, but you cannot copy her answer. If you do, you will hear the buzzer, and you will have to give me a different answer. Let's remind the viewers Gwen's answers. There they are. Okay Cat, since it is harder, I am giving you 30 seconds rather than 25 to answer all 5 questions. The clock starts after I completely read question number 1. And the first question is, name an animal a squirrel might get in a fight with if it tried to take his acorns. Another squirrel. 
something you would buy after getting engaged. Beer. A country with a large population. China. An occupation that begins with the letter J. Janitor. Name Marvel's Avengers. Captain America. Try again. Iron Man. Let's see how well you did. The first question was, name an animal a squirrel might get in a fight with if it tried to take his acorns. You said, turn around. Let's see how well you did. Another squirrel, survey said, 23. Very good answer. I then asked you something you would buy after getting engaged. You said, beer. Survey said, 11. Not bad, not bad at all. I then asked for a country with a large population. You said, China. Survey said, whoa, that is a really big one. Great job. Next question was an occupation that begins with the letter J. You said, janitor. Survey said, wow, another big one. You're on a roll. My last question was name Marvel's Avengers. Unfortunately you repeated Gwen's answer which was Captain America, but you then said, Iron Man. Survey said, great job Cat. Let's add up your points, looks like you scored a total of 163 points. Wow, you have put the Venomous Blazers in the lead. Well done. Sonic, it looks like you have your work cut out for you. But since it'll be the hardest of all, I am giving you 35 seconds to answer the exact same questions as Gwen and Cat. If you score at least 164 points, your team wins. If you score at least 129, your team will be safe. But watch out. If you score 127, or less points, you will finish in last place and your team will be up for elimination. Name an animal a squirrel might get in a fight with if it tried to take his acorns. Dog. Something you would buy after getting engaged. Dinner. A country with a large population. United States of America. An occupation that begins with the letter J. Janitor. Try again. Jockey. Try again. Judge. Name Marvel's Avengers. Captain America. Try again. Spider-Man. Turn around. Let's see how well you did. The first question was, name an animal a squirrel might get in a fight with if it tried to take his acorns. You said, a dog, survey said, oh, only five points. Bird, was the number one answer. Good job Gwen, you got the number one on that question. I then asked, something you would buy after getting engaged. You said, dinner. Survey said, six. A bit of a slow start. Dress, was the number one answer. That makes two number one answers in a row given by Gwen. Next question was a country with the large population. You said, the United States of America. Survey said, the you go. A big answer, and a really good answer at that. However, China, was the number one answer for that question. Cat, you gave that number one answer. Well done. Then the last two questions I asked you copied both Gwen and Cat's answers at first. I asked you to tell me an occupation that begins with the letter J. You copied Cat's janitor, and then Gwen's jockey. But then you said, judge. Survey said. 19 points. You're doing much better now. Janitor was the number answer, and Cat had it. But, it was the first time you said a number one answer Sonic, despite Cat already saying it. The last question was to name one of Marvel's Avengers. You again copied Gwen, but you actually also copied Cat, because he originally said Captain America as well. But then he gave Iron Man, and then you Sonic, you said. Spider-Man. Survey said. 3. Well, let's see, how many points is that all together? Oh, and Captain America and Iron Man are tied for the number one answer. Cat and Gwen, you both gave yet another number one answer each. 
Okay. Sonic, the total points you got is 53 points. But that means with a total of 163 points, Cat, you have won the game. Congrats. Venomous Blazers, you have won the challenge. As a reward, you get to play the Family Feud game for the Xbox One. When, you gave it your all, and you scored 128 points, which is the second most. Meaning you and the Red Royals are safe. So Sonic, this means it's that 53 points. The fewest out of everyone, the Express Ninjas are up for elimination. But since Ono won the last immunity, she cannot be voted for to be eliminated, but can be for another immunity. Vote for any of the Express Ninjas to be eliminated and to get the immunity. Polls are below. Voting ends on Friday, April 26th.